Hello and welcome along to Moss Valley. Harvest continues on the barley before moving on to the sorghum. Meanwhile, the mulching needs finishing in field 25, ready to plant canola. Let's get farming. So I've started off by setting off our tractor in field 25 doing the mulching. That seems to be going around fairly well. In fact, I think looking at this, uh, it's actually going on to where it should be for the next bit. So let's just come out of our cab here. We'll turn on the indicators and see exactly where it's going. Uh, it seems to be heading up to the top. We'll follow this round. And just make sure that where it's headed is actually where it should be. And yeah, it looks like it. So we'll start it off here and go with that. Just double check that that is now heading in the right way. Yep, yeah, so that's come off there and is now mulching up and down the field, which is exactly what it wants it to be doing. And that means we can move on to the combine. Now the combine, I kind of need to move a little bit. We stopped it here last time. We'll have a look at the course play course for that. And actually, no, that's fine. So we'll start it here. It will redo some of the straw, but it will at least get moving as it should be further up the field. And that means we've got a little bit of time to turn our attention here to our windmill. Now, I'm a little bit worried about the windmill. Uh, we're processing stuff through at a rate of 2,400 cycles per month for the wheat and 480 cycles a month for everything else. So I'm wondering if I can up my processors for these so that we're getting the wheat and the barley through quicker. So I'm going to do... Oh, yeah, because it's a lot less wheat. So I think we can upgrade this. Otherwise, we're not going to get stuff through. So we upgrade this to level two. It's going to cost us 22,000. But I think we might end up with a better setup because of it. So we'll spend the 22,000, get that upgraded. That will double the speed that this goes at. Uh, and actually will double the capacity as well. So that will be good. We want to be doing that. Does reduce us to 457,000. Um, but... I'm hopeful that everything will uh, will be fine there with that. So the next thing we want to start getting set up today is actually our New Holland here. We want to get the canola planted if we can. And that means getting this tractor going on the, the cedar. Uh, we should have enough seeds still kicking around the farm to get the canola planted. Now, we probably won't see the harvest of this in this series. Uh, but this is still planned to be a working farm going forwards. And uh, if we pay everything off, then that's great. Uh, if we don't, then uh, it'll be a case of negotiating with the bank and seeing if we can stay on until we do. Especially if we can demonstrate that we, uh, we have the money coming. They might actually be happy to, to keep going and, and, you know, showing a profitable farm that's paying off a, a large amount of money. They may actually be uh, fairly helpful with us. Now we've got some seed in here at the moment. We are changing that to the canola. And getting canola in nice and early will only help things out come the following year. We want to clear off the existing course that's on here. And then we're just going to park this tractor down the bottom end. I'm not so worried about all of the straw on here. And ideally, what we want to do is get that straw baled with this tractor after we've got this seeded. So the sooner we can get this off, the better. So we'll bring this in here. And I want to set up a course. That should be all pretty good. So we'll generate a course for that. And this is going to do the center of the field first. So it'll start up that top corner. So we'll go park this tractor up that top corner. But until that gets a lot further through mulching the rest of this field, I don't really want to set this up to be going. And looking at this, I think our biggest problem is probably going to be 
uh, that we don't have enough fertilizer here. So what I want to do is uh, get the JCB loaded up with some bags of fertilizer and seed, I think, and see if we can't get this uh, set up and ready to go uh, and so that it, it keeps going and we can get this job done today as well. And while setting all of that up, our combine harvester is nearly full. So we'll head down here with our TM-155 and get this loaded up. I'm still really, really eager to see where this series goes. We're making a good amount of money. And as a result, we're able to to have in sight at the very least uh, a possibility we might actually pay this loan off and hit that million pound before the end of this year it is going to take quite a bit more harvesting and setting up uh, but i think we're going to be good i really think we're going to get close at the very least so up at the yard and we've got Two bags of solid fertilizer here. What's that at the back? That's lime. So we've got two bags of lime. So we've got two bags of solid fertilizer. I think that's probably a really good starting place for us. But let's go get rid of our port. We'll grab the flatbed and we'll uh, use uh, that and, uh, and this to get up to the field and make sure that we can keep everything running and uh make sure that uh yeah there's uh there's no stop today because if there's a stop we're gonna have a problem because i doubt we'll get everything done and we need to also in that get our field rolled as well so as soon as the mulcher finishes we're gonna get the roller on it there we go detach those and uh we can then go and uh get that canola in nice and early and it means that next month we can hopefully turn the sorghum round and get oh no we don't need to we just need to turn the canola here round that canola field and get the uh, and get the winter wheat into that so that will be our next mulching thing i've just realized that bag lifter does not work on this we do want those front forks that was a supreme waste of time taking these forks off only to put them back on. But at least now we have them on and we can come in here. And as a result, I'm not even going to use the flatbed. We only have two big bags of fertilizer here. So we'll lift them up. We'll get them onto the forks. And uh, yeah, they will uh, very easily head down to the field. I would very much like to maybe get some slurry on our fields i haven't had a look but yeah thirty-seven thousand with one set of pigs forty-one thousand with another it's probably not enough to do all the fields so maybe the better way to go with that is to sell the slurry uh, and the manure when it comes to it and get a little bit of extra cash in that way uh, i i don't think it's enough to do the whole of our fields i'm just going to bring this in and we'll park it at the bottom corner here out of the way i don't think we need the jcb anytime soon so uh that will be absolutely fine down here turn it off and we'll head back interesting thing that the combine's doing at the moment that is the smallest cutting i've seen but i'm guessing it's got something to do with the way the field's shaped uh, it's currently up to 76%, so we will head up to the top of the field and hopefully there's enough capacity left in the combine for it to make it all the way to the top. Uh, I don't really want to have to empty it halfway down. Unfortunately, that is what I'm going to have to do. It's got full halfway through this cutting. It's a weird cutting. I don't know why it's done it this way. Uh but we've got to yeah we've got to empty it here otherwise it would have had the auger out so it's slightly annoying but this should be fine so we'll just empty it here then back off 
Uh, and then we'll have to follow it out at the end of the road because we can't turn around and go and tip this into the windmill. I figured out why it's got this weird cutting. It's because of this turn at the top of the field. It's having to work its way around it. And if it cut in any other way, it would have uh, ended up with a problem. So actually, do you know what? We've come up to the top here. We've got 3% left in the, the trailer. We might as well just top this off quickly. Not a huge amount, but if we take a full trailer, that makes more sense. And then the combine can just continue on its way. And, uh, and we'll turn around here and go and tip this into our windmill. Our mulcher is about halfway through the field. So I think it might be start time to get cedar started. So let's go first waypoint with this. We'll unfold it. And uh, this is slightly wider. So it's possible things are going to catch up. But I'm hoping I've given the mulcher enough space. We're getting the canola down and in. And I realize I've actually made a mistake in my crop rotation. Uh, and that is we are going to want to get the sorghum is where is where the winter wheat is going to go in. So uh, the sorghum field is going to be a fairly quick turnaround. That should be fine, though, because uh, we're not going to have to bail that. So we can almost send the mulcher following around behind the sorghum and uh, and getting that sorted combine has just hit 80 percent again so we're gonna get up and beside this and get it emptied and yeah that is three bull tanks off our combine so far that's really good yield off here i want to keep a close eye on this cedar after last time where it suddenly strayed off across the map uh, we need to make sure that it doesn't have the same problem again. Uh, it's got... It's putting in such a large whack of the uh, of the nitrogen on here. 190 kilograms per hectare of uh, nitrogen is just an incredible amount. So I'm glad we got those two big bags down here. Uh, on the other side, we... Because this is loam, we're using a small seed rate, only 35 seeds per meter squared. So the seed should last us. Uh, the uh, fertilizer is most definitely not going to. But there is 2,000 liters of fertilizer sitting at the bottom of the field. So should this run out, uh, we'll be absolutely fine. Our progress through the barley is really good. We are halfway... Well, we're coming up to halfway through the field. Uh, we are 81% full on the combine as we came to empty there. And I'm going to try and fill this trailer up this row. So the combine will actually empty. Uh, but we will try and get the trailer full up here. We're coming up to a full trailer. Just a few more litres... Uh, combines filling right up near the cab now but yeah there we go 100 percent i was slightly worried that we might not get that done before we got up to the windmill at the top here but no it's good we can uh, get out and up around the top of the field and uh, and get this tipped so this is our second full trailer i think off this field today so that's already 33,000 litres of barley today. And we had quite a bit of barley already in the windmill. Uh, I think getting the windmill upgraded was definitely a good idea. Before we head back out to the field, the DEF in this tractor is a little bit low. So uh, we're filling up the petrol first and then the DEF. We might as well fill up both of them while we're here. Yeah, and that will keep everything running. And look at that. We still have plenty of time to get back to the field. It's really tight through here. Uh, I love that. And uh, the fuel tanks are in a little bit of an awkward position. But uh, farms with eccentricities are always quite nice. And we'll just have to see how things go. I, I do know this map is now has now been released on console and an updated version. I've not upgraded my copy. 
Uh, but I believe all of these farm buildings are now placeable, which is awesome. Uh, that really does make this one of the best mod maps out there for FS22. If this with a, a massively customizable yard, that makes a huge difference. Combine needs to be emptied again and cedar needs to be refilled. So we'll empty the combine because we've got an, uh, an empty trailer. So we can just stop the tractor and trailer as soon as the combine is empty. And then we'll head over and uh, yeah, we'll get that refilled. Our cedar is not too far from us and fairly close as well to the uh, JCB. So that will be all good and nice and easy to do. Won't take long to get up there with this and get this done. And yeah, looks like the mulcher is keeping a nice healthy lead away from the cedar. So that's good because that means we can get the roller over here and start the field being rolled while the cedar is still going around. It's kind of all coming together very nicely right now. Yeah, into the back. And this will uh, this will keep things going for a while. I don't think it's seed it's run out of. I think it is the fertilizer. That would not surprise me whatsoever. Then we can go and put the JCB back up at the yard. If we need to get any more fertilizer for this field, then uh, we should be able to get it without too much difficulty. There we are. That is all filled up. Check this. Yeah, plenty of seed left. So I'm just going to back this up slightly, unfold it. Because you can see there's a patch there that has no fertilizer on it. Nearest waypoint and away that goes again. And this is where the danger zone starts hitting. But no, by the looks of it, we might be all right. It might not have an issue. Either way, this does not want to be on this field another nearly full trailer of barley i'm not going to continue with it onto the next row there's not really much point uh 15 000 liters this time um, but the combine is doing well it should i think it should do about three more rows before it needs to empty again so it should get through the next cut in without too much hassle and uh yeah Things are going well. It's half past one and uh, things are, are motoring along nicely. I really would like to get that uh, roller working. Thankfully, we've got a fairly large, large roller. So that isn't going to be a problem. And it looks like actually the mulch is finished. So that is fantastic news. So with this having finished, we will take it back up to the farm. I think this will pull our roller. Uh, and then we can get the roller down here and start that running on this field. Uh, that way, we should have this crop rolled in today as well, which we need to do. Otherwise, it's not going to get rolled at all. Uh, we can't roll it after the end of the month. So up to the farm and get it rolled and sorted. Combine is not going to make it the whole way through its cutting again, though. It is... Uh, yeah, 90% full and on its own cutting through a row. So we'll have to go and pick it up. Uh, it will get itself maneuvered and should give us easy access. Yeah, he's going to cut in to the crop there like that. Easiest way to do this. Then we can just pull alongside, empty that out. And then we'll just back off once it's emptied. And there it is done. So we'll just back it up, get out of the way, and uh, we can leave the tractor and trailer sitting here out of the way of the combine as it uh, continues on down the hill. So just checking the power of our tractor. We've got 125 horsepower there. And for our roller, it requires 160. So I think what we'll do is we'll get this tractor over to the field but it's not going to be able to pull these rollers on the field. Uh, with any luck, though, we can get the seeding tractor to come and do that at the end. Alternatively, we might be able to get our carting tractor to do it. In fact, that might be the better way to go. 
is the next time our karting tractor comes to empty, we'll empty and we'll switch tractors. Uh, that way, we can get the rolling started uh, and we know that this tractor can do the karting as well. I actually think I've got enough time to do it now. The combine is only 24% full. So let's bring this down to the bottom of the field here. We'll bring the other tractor down to the bottom of the field here and we'll switch them over at this point. Uh, and that means both tractors have less distance to go for this switch over. The TM155 is a little bit unpowered for these rollers, but it should be okay, I think. I think we've had it running them before. It is our second most powerful tractor on the farm, so uh, I'm expecting it to be able to actually run this. It's just the uh, the 83, 8340 is definitely not powerful enough to run this. So let's line this up here. Of course, we want one headland, one tool, center, longest edge, generate. And that is going to start down the side here. Hopefully, yeah, it, it doesn't matter if it overlaps a bit so long as uh, everything eventually gets covered. So our starting point is up here. Unfold this. First waypoint. And away you go. And yeah, I can see a, a decent amount of overlap. So we, we should be fine with this. Uh, I think this will work well. And yeah, it's not doing mulching area. So we should see fairly easily the areas where this misses. Combine is full again. Thankfully, near our trailer. So we should be able to just swing round, hook up the trailer, and empty the combine. There we are, bring this round. Now this tractor will slow us down a little bit, but thankfully we've been keeping up with the combine without too much trouble. So we'll take that down to six miles an hour. And away we go. Whoa. To make things a little bit easier on us, I've ordered a weight for the tractor. Looks like they've delivered it in a really difficult way to actually get it picked up. So, yeah, they like to deliver stuff to shop uh, right in front of our shed here. It's where we normally get other bits. Uh, if we're getting a bit of a equipment like a tractor or something, they do, we do need to go up to the shop to get it. Smaller stuff like this, uh, we can get delivered without too much hassle. Will that hook onto the front? No. Kind of pushing it around with my wheels. Don't want to faff around too much because the combine will be full soon. But adding this weight onto the front might give our tractor a little bit more grip while we're trying to get the combine emptied. Now around there like so. And there. Perfect. Yeah. And that will just help our 8340 to get a little bit more stable. Now comes the real test for this little 8340. We've got an uphill unloading to do. I did manage to hold it at like seven miles an hour and it and it does seem to be holding fairly well at that speed. So that's a little bit more than we need to empty the combine. And we should get a nice full trailer off this as well really not much of the field to go when it at uh at 10 to 5 in the afternoon so very pleased with the progress so we've filled the windmill with barley so i need to actually go and uh, tip the rest of this into our grain store because yeah at the moment we can't fit any more in the windmill uh, that is fantastic because we're looking to turn all of this into bread. And while it's not quite such a good conversion rate as the wheat, uh, the excess goes into pig food anyway, which helps to fatten up our pigs and allow us to make more money from them. So uh, nothing gets wasted on this farm, which is uh, great. It just allows us to, to keep going. So we'll put this into here. Our combine, though, with this delay is up to 82% full. 
So we're going to have to rush back out to the field once we've tipped this into here. I've had to get an urgent bag of fertilizer delivered to the farm. Wasn't cheap. Uh, but the cedar has run out of fertilizer on its final headland. And we're going to have to get this out to it. So we'll load it up onto the JCB and we'll head out. And uh, yeah, thankfully we can cut across and get this delivered. But it's a little bit annoying that at this late stage in the day, we've had to grab some more fertilizer just to get this finished off. Now I should be able to get round the side here and get this loaded up, I think. Yeah, we'll stick to the hedge and then extend this out here. That should get this done. There we are. So yeah, just one bag of fertilizer into the back will be enough to get this field finished. It is just slightly annoying that it's come to this and uh, and the tractor is that close to the end in fact the next row that the uh that the roller will do will bring it across and down here so we need to get this cedar moving let's get that out of there nearest waypoint we'll grab this oh you are going to go past me fine we're going to have to sneak down the side of the field then. I don't really want to run over where we've seeded. Uh, get past the tractor and head back up to the yard. Seeder has finished work, so we'll take this back up to the farm and get it. Uh, well, we'll get the seeder dropped off because we won't be needing that again for a couple of days. Not until the saw gum's been done. Uh, we uh, also have the harvester to unload. And so I need to get this tractor set up with the course that the combine's just done because we want to set it on the same course and get it bailing next time. And that way we'll be able to get uh, the barley field baled. We'll be able to get the canola field mulched and we'll be able to get the sorghum uh, harvested all of which is stuff that we really want to get completed and uh, done and dusted. Uh, all in all, we are making very good progress. We do seem to have a little bit of a problem, though, breaking that half million barrier. I would really like to have 500,000 uh, before we finish our harvest. However, I don't think that's going to be... Uh, we still have lots of barley to do. We've got lots of canola to sell. We've got the entire field of sorghum. We've got all of our pigs. There's money here. It, whether it's another half a million on top of what we've got, I don't know. But there is money here. So 77% full on the combine. We'll empty the last of that out. At the same time, I'm going to pop into the combine. We will copy the current course. We will head over to this tractor here. And we will uh, clear the current course on it. Copy the new course. And then, yeah, that is then set up for field 32. Combine is finished. We'll clear the course off that now because that's not needed. And we'll head over and get this tipped that is really good we've finished the barley we've got the canola planted the roller will finish soon uh it should finish by the end of this evening and we are just moving on to the next bit on the farm i am very very pleased with today's progress that is all cylinders firing on the farm and getting the farm moving like a well-oiled machine. This could not really have gone much better. So that means with the light fading quickly uh, that we are going to leave this here for today. I'll just back this into here. Get it tipping. Like that. And yeah, 
all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video please leave a like drop us a comment and give it a share special thanks to all my patrons and channel members your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow for more from virtual farmer check out the links below follow on twitch to watch live and for more videos subscribe and ring that bell i will see you next time goodbye